Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and I want to point out a very particular command for kubectl that has strong relationships to deployments, to services, and this is the expose command. So expose is used to quickly create Kubernetes services for deployment, so here it is. And uh, we do it uh, quite a few times where we'll type kubectl expose, then the deployment, uh, then the app. Sometimes the documentation will show it like this, where it'll say deployment, forward slash my app. And again, that's just a um, alternative syntax that you can use. You can definitely use spaces. You could say deploy and then the app probably works with replica sets as well, but honestly you should always be using deploys anyway. Uh, but the idea here is that it just allows you to quickly create a service and attach it um, so that it points to the pods of a particular deployment. So here what you can see is that we are setting up one that is a node port service. We're setting the name, the port, the target port, the node port. I'm assuming I got that right and I wasn't supposed to put a hyphen in between there or something. Um, and there is another command where it's like kubectl create service. And so those can have kind of a bit of an overlap, but the idea there is that if you create a service, um, it still has to link to something. So most cases, it doesn't make sense to do that. There's probably some edge cases. And I feel like kubectl expose does a little bit more. Like I thought maybe like it added a proxy or did something, but I just could not find that documentation. And I found it somewhere online, it wasn't the official docs. So there, it definitely does a little bit more, but I don't fully understand that extra bit to explain it to you. But I just know that uh, we will use it. And uh, if you always can use manifest files to create your services, um, but this is just really good for a quick way to expose um, Kubernetes or uh, like a Kubernetes uh, pods, okay?